Hey, good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Frank. I'm the children's director here at Arizona Community Church. And today's devotion is coming to you from the book of Hebrews, chapter 6, uh, verses 19 and 20. We have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain, where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. And here we see that Jesus is a forerunner for us. He goes before us. He's crossed that veil, that curtain. And beyond the curtain, if you'll remember in the tabernacle, that is where God dwelled, where even the high priest of Israel could only enter once, once a year and only after a tremendous sacrifice and special robes and all of this ceremony. Jesus has free access. He goes before us freely and he advocates on our behalf. Now, if you remember in the New Testament, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit. And by that same power that the apostles had in building its church, we now have access to that. And as the chaos swirls around us, and as our lives are in shambles, and we don't know what our schedules look like, where our kids are, where our families are, what our jobs look like, we have this tremendous opportunity to rebuild and restructure our lives in a manner that's befitting God. Where before we had excuses we couldn't join with God because we had too many things going on, we don't have that excuse anymore. We can come to God on his terms. We can build that time in, whether it's devotion time with the family at the dinner table, whether it's time in the morning just watching the sun rise, or maybe it's calling our grandkids on the phone or FaceTiming and just sharing a devotion with them and watching their eyes light up as they learn more about Jesus. Take this opportunity to build those moments back into your lives where there was none before. Use this time to anchor yourself with Christ. Let him pass that veil for you. Let him give you that peace with God and let the Holy Spirit guide you. Listen to it. Let it guide you in this time in which you rebuild your schedules. I pray for you today that Uh, You take up this challenge and that you, as you restructure your lives, you find time for God and you find time for family and you let the worries and the cares of the chaos swirling around you just fall away. And I know many of you may struggle with that idea. Uh, Maybe you're in a place where you just feel that's impossible. You know what? This weekend, take some time, go on a hike. Go on a hike with your family and just let the cares go away. 